Hey there. Uh, so the next question is actually about essential questions. Um, and uh, the question is, why do I love them? So I think before I can answer the question about why I love essential questions, I wanna step back a little bit and um, talk about why I love questions in general. So um, I love a good question better than a good answer all of the time almost. There are just, you know, there are a few exceptions. And the reason is because what happens in our brains when we ask questions. So when I, as the teacher, ask the student a question, what's happening is I'm creating kind of this space between me, the questioner, and then the questionee. And in that space, we have something called cognitive dissonance, which is the, the, the intellectual space that the learner has to move through um, in order to generate learning, right? In order to create kind of that learning pathway. And so I am always deferring to questions because it's constantly putting the work onto the person who's being asked the question. And when they're the ones who are asked the question, when they are the ones who have to like come to the answer, they're constructing it, they're creating that pathway in their brain, and they're starting to really own their own learning and not rely on me as the giver of answers, right? Um, essential questions, also, I think really change the the culture of a, of a of a classroom of a learning space, because in lieu of questions, there's going to be a lot of giving of information, and if we are giving lots of information, the the subtext of that, whether we believe it or not, whether we intend it or not, is going to be that there is a right answer and a wrong answer, and um, and I know that that's something that we really want to get away from. So um, I love essential questions then, because for me, it's kind of like a learning Learning purpose. It's this is the big question that I really want students to be able to answer today, or this is the big question I really want students to be able uh, to wrestle with throughout this unit. Um, an essential question doesn't have to be a perfect question, but I do know that when I make those essential questions more provocative um, or more interesting or relevant to whomever the learner is, the more willing they are to cross that cognitive space, right? And in order to construct their own learning.